What's up guys? We have a scroller box today. <laughs> That's just how I need to say it. I don't know why, but I just, I do and you guys are okay with it, right? <laughs> so I am not behind for, ooh, for a little bit now. So this is the first time I'm not behind. I'm, I don't know what I'm saying a little bit. And I'm super excited to see what's in here because my friend did not tell me at all. She's like, let's see if you enjoy this month's box. But I'm hoping, I, I hope this is not going to be it, but I'm hoping it's not just black and white stuff. Or, you know, gray, gray things. Because I need colors. I really need colors. So I can't work well with things that are just grayscale. So let's see, I have no idea what's in there. Okay, I see some color from the artist, which means that there should be. So I'm going to just pull everything out. Ooh, it's a Spider-Man Venom kind of thing. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Okay, so let me just take everything out first. And we have the PPL, and that's about it. All right, so the artist of the month, this is really cool, is... By the way, I know you guys freaked out when I bent the paper like this, but I did not fold it. I'm only bending it, and it still goes straight, just so that you guys can see. <laughs> so the artist is Benjamin Davis. And here's the Instagram and the website. So you can check that out if you want. See that the print is still okay. It's just a little bendy, but it'll go back to normal. So you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> we have this paper. Okay. Oh no! Dang, Nevit, I dropped something. Give me a second. <gasps> no way! Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get closer. This is really cool. We have chameleons. I love chameleons. If you guys remember, I did some chameleons. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's open this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ooh, spearmint. Okay, so this is everything in here. I am super excited. Super, super excited because I have the first full set of chameleons. So, okay, 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 I'm getting ahead of myself here. Okay, so what we have in this scroller box, which is dedicated to chameleon colors. And if you guys don't know what chameleon colors are, here, let's, let's read the little blurb. It's a double-ended alcohol marker that can be used as a gradient or kind of to combine colors together. And we have an exclusive down here. So what you do is you have a color and you put it inside this area that has kind of like a diluting color thing. So you t let the tips touch each other. The longer you let the tips, and you have to hold it this way, so the longer you let the tips touch each other, the longer the main color will be diluted and then you can go from a light color to a gradient. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you in not too long. So we have three of these full colors. We have a vermilion, sand, and deep black. And then we can actually combine colors to each other. So we can mix the vermilion with the peony, peony, perny pink, <laughs> the perny pink, and with a gray and with a bark. So you can make the colors themselves lighter, and then you can mix the colors with other colors. I've never tried these before, so I'm super excited. I've seen it on their Instagram as they were making this, this set. So I'm super excited. The challenge of the month is Maximum Carnage, and this is pretty open, so you can kind of do whatever you want. It's so much color! <gasps> I am so excited. So, okay, let me show you. Let's, let's take a piece of paper and have some fun with this. While we're having some fun with that, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna open that. I love spearmint, mint, and especially chewy candies. Chewy candies are the best. Mmm, so good. Oh, it tastes like mint tea. Yum. Okay, so I did get way too ahead of myself. So for the full markers that get light within themselves in the gradient, we have deep black vermilion. So you guys did see this. Whoops. Sand color. Burgundy. So these are all the full pens. And then for the smaller mix of colors, we got four. I think I only showed you guys two or three. So we have the caramel. I know some of you guys call them caramel, but I think it's called caramel for me. Uh, bark and Pyrene pink <laughs> and a neutral gray four and then we also got a detail pen 
So I didn't show you guys that because I was like so excited that I got way too ahead of myself. But if I remember correctly, the detail pen does smudge. I don't know if they changed it, but when I did have it the first time, it smudged. Okay, so I left this up here. So it should be lighter. So let's see. Oh, you know what? Let's get closer. Okay, so it's kind of light right now. So I'm just going to keep going. And you're going to see as I keep going, I think I left it on there for too long, <laughs> but we're going to have more of a gradient. So I'm just going to keep going. And you're going to see it's going to get darker and darker. Man, I really left it there a long time. So if you don't want it to be this light, don't leave it as long as I did. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep going and going. Yeah, I really left it a long time. I think I left it. So the darker it gets, the closer we are to the natural color. So you can see I really put it in there for a while. So I'm just going to keep going, scroll it, and you can see it's pretty cool. I feel bad for this color because it's like, where is my natural tone? I think this is the natural color. Nope, nope, it's getting darker. So we're going to keep going, man. Eee, cheese, man. I really left it there a long time. <laughs> Don't do like I did. Don't do like I did. Okay, so I think that's enough for this guy. I think that's enough because otherwise I'm going to keep going for quite, quite some time. So, as you can see, we go from a super, super light color and we have like this perfect gradient. How cool is that? And all that because we have the tip. And the cool thing about these pens, I know it, it's, this is not a sponsored video, <laughs> I'm just getting really excited. So the cool thing about these markers is that they are refillable. So you get like a lot of different colors in that same marker. Now what I'm curious about is mixing two colors together. So I want to take, let's see, let's take the sand color, see what that looks like normally. So we have a brush side and then we have a nib side. And the brush is not as soft as the Copic ones. So we have the sand color here. And we can touch the tip of the sand into the pink. I don't know what, I have no idea what that's going to look like. So let's hold it up there. I'm going to leave it instead of like a minute. I'm going to leave it maybe 10 seconds to see what that looks like. So let's wait for 10 seconds. All right. I think I left it for more like 15 or 20 seconds. So let's see. Ooh, pink. So we have this pink and it should technically, let's get a little closer. So it's more, the more we use it more it should turn into the sand color. I think I left it a little too long again. <laughs> Jackie, why don't you ever learn anything? I really should have, should not have left it that long. So I think we're starting to slowly get into the other color. I'm just going to kind of swerve into here and make my way back. And okay, we can start seeing the color change. Do you guys see that? <gasps> How cool is that? And then we have the gradient. Oh my god, I'm in love. I am in love. Look at this ombre down here. Er, my god, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I could not have done this with my lack of experience on my own. So of course, I, I left it on too long. So I left it for like 20-ish seconds. If you left it for 10, you probably could get closer to this area then up here. So we do have this combination. I don't know. Do you guys want to do more? Let's let's do more. And of course, every time you remove this, put it back in so that it doesn't dry. Let's try other color combos. Let's do a burgundy to neutral gray. All right, this is for real. <laughs> for real. 10 seconds now. So let's see how much it changed it. So let's go here. So we have the gray. Okay, so you see, this makes more sense. This makes way more sense. How gorgeous is that? So we have the, the natural color here. How cool is that? Oh my god! Oh my god, guys! I am so happy with this. Oh, man, why did Chameleon do this? Because now I want this. I want the full set of this, and I am going crazy for it. This is so cool. I mean, look, look at that. 
I'm just so excited that I'm just like smashing everything. Okay, let's do one. I'm, I'm a little disappointed. We don't have a blue in this set. So do we want to try one more? I think I have the vermilion black. Hmm. I'm curious. Let's do a pink to black. Do you think that's going to work? I have no idea. So let's try that. I'm going to put it for 10 seconds again. All right, I am super excited because we just we just did a really light color to a very dark color. How will this look? Oh, oh my gosh. We have pink. No way. No way. No way. No way. Oh my goodness. Oh, I have goosebumps. Look at that. I have goosebumps. This oh, this is amazing. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my god. I know I'm, I'm like freaking out guys, but can can let's let's zoom out of here. Look at these gradients. Look at these gradients. I love these chameleons. And by introducing these new color tips that you can make with the bigger ones. Oh my goodness. I love these. I am honestly in love and I think I'm going to actually end up buying the whole set kind of like as a Little, little gift. But look at that! How cool is that? I'm, I'm just freaking out. Alright, let's test out the, uh, the, the marker here. So I'm gonna bring this closer and we have... Oh, that is really, really slim. So I'm just gonna do this. Let's do a little a cute little cubie guy. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a, an outline let it dry a little bit, so I'm going to give it a few seconds. And actually, I wonder, can we actually draw with these? No, okay, so these are only for blending. We can't actually color because they're inside the tube. So we can't use it to color, unfortunately. But then again, if you have the full set of these, which I do, uh, but they kind of dried out because they were near a heat before they shipped it to me, so unfortunately they're a little dry. But we can't color with these, so you would have to buy both sets if you want the actual mix. So I'm going to take a lighter color. Let's take the sand. I'm going to take the sand and the brush side and see if it actually smudges. No! Okay. So they changed the formula. They changed the for form formula <laughs> of their outline thing. So it doesn't smudge because the first one that I had uh, with the set, it did smudge. So, ooh, it's a little close. Here you go. So you can see it doesn't smudge or drag, which is kind of cool. Okay. <gasps> so many color options. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. So, I'm super excited. I'm super happy. Oh, wow. <laughs> you guys get to see the teeth. <laughs> so we have Chameleon. And I think they were exclusive. So these ones here are the Chameleon Color Tops. So these are exclusive. This is really cool. So the longer you blend it, don't do like me, because otherwise you're going to get a super long <laughs> kind of effect. But it, you, you really don't need to keep it for more than 10-ish seconds, it seems. And the new formula is way better than the one I currently have. So <gasps> can you imagine? I know for probably bigger spaces it's not ideal, but you can work on it. I'm sure it takes some practice, but you'll definitely be pretty good at it. So scroller books and chameleon, that is exciting. I have yet to think of something maximum carnage. If you guys have any ideas or suggestions, definitely leave them down below. I'm going to think a little bit and see what I can create with the color palette I've been given. Of course, as a reminder, I am not using the proper paper for these pens, so it does look a little grainy because I'm using the wrong kind. 